Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to explain about the topic called navigation search in Oracle Apex. Like uh, usually, many people sir uh, struggle to go to the navigation menu. For example, here you can see many uh, menus are there, right? So, but uh, as per the end user, it is very difficult to navigate each and every section uh, and to redirect their page. Correct. So for example in your application you are maintaining so many reports it is very difficult to go to the report section under there you need to select that report if if the report contains another sub report so it is very difficult to navigate right so for that i have created one custom approach like uh, in the top of the end uh, top of the bar like you can able to uh, see one search menu right so here uh, as of now, I am in home page. Okay, so if you want to search it in somewhere, like I just want to redirect to charts. So I just click the charts. It will automatically populate the charts, which are related to other topics also. So I just click the charts and click enter. So it will automatically redirect to the charts. Even though if you didn't ever about any keyword, like uh, I just want to redirect to classic report or something if it is there i can put it click and just click enter you can see right it is redirect to this report so how i achieve this it's a very simple feature like uh, first of all i need to create the global page so when you are trying to create any application this global page will be come along with that so here i just created one region okay so that region uh, position will be a breadcrumb bar so you can put as your own wish like in the region body or after logo something like that so after that i have created uh, one page item so it's called as menu search here i put it as a type called text with autocomplete so here this is my sql query so this sql query is like i have used the apex meta view so apex list views and application pages so whatever you have uh, created here uh, automatically it will comes in the meta view like so from there you can able to fetch it here and uh, for the higher versions you have to use the list name as desktop navigation menu for lower versions uh, you can use as navigation menu okay and one more thing like as of now this will support only for the normal pages it will not support uh, support for the inline dialog pages okay so in later video i will try to explain that okay so after that you need to create two uh, page items like one is for uh, redirect name and redirect url okay so here i have written one dynamic action so for example i have written two types of dynamic action like one is for on click of enter and if you type something and click outside like of on change okay so here in the on change everything will be the same let me explain about the enter okay so here what I did in the dynamic action event as key release item as uh, menu search item this will be the text with auto complete right here I just put it as a javascript expression so this browser e event called 13 13 relates to the enter keyword okay after that I just put it as a true action called a set value in the set value I have used the same SQL query and I have just used some kind of uh, utils like apex util underscore prepare url why i have used this one like uh in in some of the pages if you are maintaining like page items like must have checksum right to handle that part so that is why i have written this apex util prepare url okay and when i just try to assign that url okay uh we need to replace something so i have used this query okay and this is the common keyword like uh it will check like whether it has to redirect or not okay so from this query i have uh, set the value items called uh, redirect name and redirect url so after that i just created one custom javascript code it's a very simple one like i am just using the apex dot item get value so from there i can able to get the uh, name as well as url okay for example if your page number redirects to 23 uh, in the meta do you can able to get the f question mark of p url okay from there i am just checking here that item is, is in the branch and it is not null okay or undefined okay as in the javascript function so after that i am just replacing two values like because 
when you are trying to assign the url in the text field we are getting some kind of uh, symbols like junk characters like ambrosian uh, amp something like that so i am just replace it here and finally i am just using the javascript dot window open and that url what we have received from the output of uh, javascript code okay and here i just put it as a self i hope you already aware of if you put it as a self it will open within the window if you put it as a blank then it will open as a new uh, tab okay so these are the methods i have followed and uh, uh, it is working fine okay so i hope uh, this will be useful for you uh, so thank you so much for watching